they cheated on their tests. That's what state regulators are saying about the Indiana steel milker already accused of killing thousands of fish in a toxic spill. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into explosive findings against ArcelorMittal. It was the foul smell and disturbing sight of about 3,000 dead fish. That shocked residents along the Little Calumet River in August. The culprit, a cyanide and ammonia spill from the nearby Arcelor Middle Steel Plant. And the Indiana Department of Environmental Management, or IDEM, accused the steelmaker of failing to promptly notify the state. Arcelor Middle has been required to do daily testing since the spill. But now IDEM says they're breaking the rules. Inspectors said that ArcelorMittal has been redoing tests that showed violations and then using those new tests to replace bad results. They have concerns that, if you will, the data was sort of cooked. Howard Lerner heads the Environmental Law and Policy Center, one of the groups that sued the steelmaker in the wake of this summer spill. He says the testing issues are only part of their concern. This isn't a one-off. It's not like there was an accident at one point. There's been a series of discharges that exceed the permit levels. Tests are continuing to show unacceptable amounts of ammonia and cyanide in water discharged from one of the plant's outfalls. Today, IDEM told me the violations could result in fines. Learner's organization feels like the penalties need to be stiffer. The public deserves better. In Burns Harbor, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Late today, ArcelorMittal responded to us by saying they do not manipulate data. They say they use certified labs to analyze samples, including any corrected data, in accordance with the industry and lab standards. They also say they have been within their cyanide and ammonia limits since the August spill.